Alright, I'm going through a bunch of Super Nintendos. Uh, buying that one, it wasn't work the other day. I fought around with it and switched to another motherboard and couldn't make it work. Um, well, actually, it's probably alright. The fuse just needs replaced. But I got this motherboard, and I fought that shit for I don't know how long. Um, almost completely destroyed a connector because I thought the connector was the problem. Turned out that's not the problem, hard and seldom ever, if you use these uh, cleaning kits here. Because I made the connector work again on another on another unit. <clears throat> uh, but you can see here where I took this fuse off of this one to fix one of these others. I'm going through a bunch of my Super Nintendos and repairing them. I've got a um, this is an early unit here that's been through hell. Stuck the cleaner in it, turn it on, works perfect. Uh, this is one of the heavy units, one of the early units that's got the separate sound box here in the back. It makes the unit a lot heavier. I know I've got one more of those in there. Um, these early systems, maybe more than that. Because I've probably got about five or six more systems than what you see right here. Uh, but, yes, yeah, anytime you see one of these discolored Super Nintendos, most likely it's going to be one of the early units that's, uh, well, actually this one's 14,265,508. You can look on the bottom and tell, too, because they don't have the little number at the end squared in in the box. If you want one of the early units, that is. Um, also, the early units had the removable pin, and the later units, you couldn't remove the pin, and I went through here and made a list of the ones I went through so far. You cannot remove, they're uh, soldered in, so it's non-replaceable on some of the units, but they all work, the ones I've tried. Yeah, this is pretty wild that I just stuck the cleaner in this. I didn't even try it before I put the cleaner. I put the cleaner in there and sparred right up and somebody looks like they took a baseball bat to it. Yeah, very, very... This is a special stage or something. I just ran out there to show you the control port works. But this fuse on these super, on these Super Nintendos, there's a fuse right here that is 99 out of 100 times the problem, most likely, because this one's bad. All you gotta do is take your multimeter. Uh, I set mine to 2,000 ohms. Put each put each end of this on each end of this connector, and the numbers start going up on the multimeter, showing that there was continuity. Now, if there's no continuity, it'll be mine stayed stuck on one the whole time, wanting to move. Uh, test your multimeter too, though, first. Put the prongs together, you know, rub them together to make sure the battery's as good in your multimeter. And um, that's about it. I think I've covered everything that I can think of. Try to help you people out. <clears throat> 